right, let's go across the hall. And this looks like a challenge room. Nothing unusual. I think this entire place is unusual. Cards are scattered on the floor. Someone failed to play 52 pickup properly. Bed. Hmm. There's a save point in here. We're gonna use it real quick. All right, we're saved. So basically, if we die in the next fight, we're, we can just start right back here. So we have all the items to use, which use the Amulet of Solomon. This door has several locks. The Crest of Mercury. The Ankh of the Avatar. The Dagger of Melchior, which goes in the center. And the Disc of Ouroboros. This is a door in a child's room. This is weird. Come, come along. No. No. I don't want to. Do what mommy tells you now. I just want you to lend me a teeny bit of your power. That's all. No. I don't want to do it. It will make everyone happy, and it's for your own good, too. This is weird. Oh, but Mommy, I just want to be with you. Just two of us. Please understand. Oh, yes, I see. Maybe Mommy has been wrong. She seems like a complete fucking Mommy. bitch. Why didn't I see this before? There's no reason to wait. Herein lies the mother's womb, containing the power to create life. I could have done it all myself. Mommy? Hmm? That cutscene will be different depending whether or not you were able to save Sybil and do the Kaufman stuff. So, let's just go down the stairs. Calmly walk down the stairs. Never run downstairs. I know that for a fact. Oh. I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metrotron was being used. In spite of the lost soul returning at last. Well, lost soul. Just a little longer and all would have been for naught. It's all because of that man. That we man here. To him. Even though Alessa has been stopped. His little girl has to go. What a pity. What a pity. <laughs> Freeze! The hell is that thing in the chair? What in the devil's name? It's an AT field. Dahlia. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. I... I was Where's equipped Cheryl? with food! What are you talking about? You've seen her many times restored to her former self. I'm in no mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. That's absurd. It is pretty absurd. Why? 
Why are you doing this? It's been a long seven years. I don't know. Maybe it's the uh, boss. Since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. Then fall. Alessa has been trapped Kill you in an after. endless nightmare from which she never awakens. He has been nurtured by that nightmare. Oh, a marathon of Teen Titans Go? day to be born. That day has finally come. The time is nigh. Everyone will be released from pain and suffering. Yeah. Our salvation is at hand. This is the day of reckoning. When all our sorrows will be washed away. When we return to the true paradise. What, the promised land? My daughter will be the mother of God. You wait till she's at least 18. Dolly just got shot in the tit. Quit screwing around. Return things to how they were before. Hoffman! Did I ask for this? I never asked for this. Nobody uses me. You won't get away with this. Your work is over. We don't need you anymore. Why not? That you could accomplish by coming here. My, aren't we getting cocky? Bet you can't see this. A glophitus! I thought I got rid of that! A glophitus? Planted somewhere for you to find. You're easy. And there's more where this came from. I'm gonna say, you eat my, my Swedish fish? Not my Swedish fish. What? Uh oh. He threw the Aglophitus. No, it's Aglophitus. That stuff that deals with demons and shit. What? Huh? What the? That's not supposed to. That is the incubus. And Dahlia is on fire. This girl is on fire. So basically, all we can really do is just stand still and unload shots into this fucker. Okay. Basically, that, that light, that's his only attack, and it fucking wrecks ya. Okay, didn't. 
Uh, wait. Let's see if I can get a fucking look at him. Okay. Just gotta make sure. Okay, it's dead. That was anticlimactic. This place is falling apart. rumbling like crazy. Carolyn, run towards the light! Never run with a child in your arms. Might drop the child. The way the texturing looks, it's like she shit her pants. Come on, Kaufman. The hell? Okay. <laughs> Well, she's a demon this time, killing Mr. Kaufman. Run towards the light. She still looks like she shit her pants. Uh, so does Harry. The texturing, darker near the ass. Looks like he shit his pants. Well, the incubator would. The incubator is if you don't save Sybil and do the Kaufman quest. It's incubus if it if you do. But the angel form probably probably supposed to be Samael, taking the form of Alessa. I guess I don't know. Well, that was the first Silent Hill game. I guess that means I have to play Silent Hill three, and deal with the awkward cutscene of I will birth the Lord. Oh my god, this game is weird. Now, the ending cutscene is kind of weird. I knew someone that tried to beat this game as fast as they could. Because he wanted to make he wanted to see if he could actually save Cheryl. If you uh, don't take a shitload of time to beat the game. I, mean, he, I think he got under two hours at one point. Before he's like, fuck it. <laughs> So, like, for months, this is the only thing he ever played. So I was like, alright, whatever, man. At that time, I was playing uh, Sonic Adventure, actually. This came out in 99. Yeah, I was playing, like, Silent, um, Sonic Adventure and Shenmue, so, eh, whatever. Oh, oh, geez. I remember I played this quite a bit. Yep. 
you know, when it came out, but I haven't played it since then, like, till this year. And, yeah, it's, it, I felt kind of underwhelming compared to what I, how, it, how I thought it was at one point. Yeah, it's kind of underwhelming. It's still good, it's just underwhelming, I mean. Silent Hill 3, I... Silent Hill 3 is probably my favorite of the series so far. So. And this just feels kind of underwhelming compared to that. But if you're going to play Silent Hill 3, you got to play this one because they tie in together. Uh, I'm just blathering on, so I'm just going to sign out here. It's that guy on the right. Harry Michael G.